Welcome to Night Rips. And time for some more 22 Tops Gallery Blaster because I have not found a monster box yet. Of course, a monster box has two autos. This one only has seven packs of four cards for a total of 28 cards where you're guaranteed four printer proof and on average two rainbow foils. And that's about it. And just to show you, there's the... There's the odds. You know, you might find a little bit more, you know, like a modern artist insert. That's one per 15. I've been lucky I found two so far, but you're not guaranteed it. Odds are not super great with this. And other than image variations, really, any of the parallels are numbered parallels. So we'll go ahead and get cracking our seven packs. And while I'm getting these all laid out, definitely invite you to join the channel hitting that subscribe button below and the notify bell so let's zoom in and see what we have and of course this is a fast opening so now that I have new hands again I can actually go quicker and not have to cut out all the fumbling with packs there's Roy Campanella and right off the bat we get one of those rainbow foils of Vladdy Jr who's, they're talking about he might be the next one to be in the 500 home run club. We'll see. After that, we got Mad Max, Max Scherzer, with his printer proof. There's Vidal Brujan's rookie, and George Springer. So, a lot of East in that one, between AL and NL. Let's see what we get. Of course, Campanella is obviously a Dodger. I already see on the back. I'm happy about this one. There's Patrick Wisdom. There's the Babe. Kellenick, who we'll see how well he does. Initially, I was thinking this right here might have been for All-Stars. Obviously, Kellenick is not an All-Star. And we end it. And this one, honestly, again, makes, makes me happy because I think this is actually Matt Olson's first uh, basic card or base card. In a Braves uniform. And what he did against the Mets in that last series. I always I always thought Olsen was going to do well. I was not a doubter. I was not on those not Freddie Freeman club. Because Freddie is now with the enemy. Speaking of the 500. Actually this would be Mr. 700. Who hit over 700 home runs now. Albert Pujols. Last year, there's Ichiro, one of the veteran cards. That's why you can tell from this outline cutout thing there. And our second printer proof, another NL East, Dan's Baby Swanson, up for his contract year and another great one that, against uh, that Mets series. There's Bo Bichette, another East, but of course this would be AL. And end up with the big heart, Frank Thomas. Four packs to go. These are always fast. There's only 28 cards in this. And you know you're going to rip through this quickly. So might as well talk through it rather than, you know, beyond. There's Matt Chapman, of course, in his new uniform. Not an not athletic like he was in training at camp. He was actually traded there to the Blue Jays. So I guess this will be one of his first uniforms. Oh, and we got... Mr. Hank Aaron. Miss you, Hank. For the next wave, this is one of the insert sets. Of course, he's still in his old uniform because it happened too too late. It would be uh, Juan Soto. And mentioned Freddy before. Yeah, there's our former first baseman who's now with the, the enemy, the Dodgers. Freddy Freeman. Three packs. I got Matt Olson and Freddy Freeman, so... Past the first baseman and the current first baseman in the same in the same rip. What's the odds? Actually, the odds are not that bad. There's only 200 cards here. There's C.J. Abrams, still with the Padres. Obviously, he got traded to Washington. And we got our second rainbow foil, Frank Thomas. We got our, I want to say that's our third printer proof. And finally, not a member of the NL East. This would be uh, NL Central for the Minnesota Twins, Joe Ryan. 
There's Robin Yount and Byron Buxton. A couple central guys there. Two packs to go. Let's see what we got. Oh, we got a colored card. Oh, I bet you that's I bet you that's actually one of the um, modern artists. We'll see. But we got Jack Flaherty, and it is one of the modern artists. And of course, a painful for some people. This would be Juan Soto. Well, of course, this is still with Washington. It was too late, I guess, to make him a Padre. But and personally, I don't think he's doing very well with the Padres. But that's my opinion. But we got another printer proof and another brave and another great brave. Spencer Strider, who honestly, between him and Michael Harris second, would be who's going to be the rookie of the year. But great, great ace rookie that we have this year. Guy throws some serious heat. There's Stan Musial and Nolan Arenado. Last pack. And even though I haven't pulled anything crazy out of this, I, I'm not complaining at all. Pulling printer proofs of two of the great players of the Braves. And, and don't get me wrong, I like Mad Max too. But yeah, definitely some great, great ones for the Braves there. There's Bryson Stott, whom we gave him his first home run. And actually we've been giving him a lot of hits. But there with the Phillies. We got Austin Riley. Another great Brave. Going to see him for a long time. We got him locked down. And we got ourselves our third rainbow foil. Ernie Banks. And then the last card, the immortal Roberto Clemente, who definitely left us too soon, definitely before his time. So, what do we get out of this? Well, we actually beat the odds. We did pull three of the rainbow foils. Based on the odds, you should only get two, and we got three. And two great legends, and then one a legend in the making. We did pull our four printer proofs, like we should. We definitely got Joe Ryan, got two great Braves, Dansby Swanson and Spencer Strider, and Mad Max, pitcher for the Mets, who was also with the Dodgers and the Nationals, so we're used to hitting them. But here's what's really interesting. We ended up pulling, oh, and I did not realize this next wave is actually a numbered card, but we ended up pulling two Juan Sotos, a modern artist, and a green next wave. And I just, because I was looking, I'm like, I don't remember that being green before. It's green because it's numbered out of 250. So, not too bad. Of course, neither one of these Juan Sotos are with his uh, current team. He is with the Padres, who probably will be going to the, actually, now they will be going to the playoffs. But uh, we'll see how far they go. They got to take on the Mets. Or at least they should. At least whenever we're recording this, we're only, we only have the one game to finish, which we should have finished by now. So that's it. Another fun rip. And I actually pulled my first numbered parallel out of, out of a blaster, out of 2022 uh, Tops Gallery. Hope you enjoyed it. Again, I'm on the lookout to find myself at least one monster box. Get those two autos and get some parallels, some potentially an image variation. But we'll see. So I hope you join the ride by hitting that subscribe button below and the notify bell. Also, if you wouldn't mind, give the thumbs up to the video. It definitely helps my videos, it helps my channel, and any comments, leave it in the comment section below. Appreciate taking the time once again to open up a new product. I know we don't get very many new products this year. It's been a strange year for Tops. So I hope, I um, really appreciate you know, watching it, and I look forward to doing it again here real soon. So until then, bye now.